Ahoy, Let's Watchers! It's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. In the last episode, we went to a power plant in the woods to fight Electro because he had a piece of magical rock. What could be simpler? Uh, we unlocked two challenges by defeating Electro for the first time at the end of the last episode. Let's take a quick look at those. We got Blackout, which is dispatch every electric creature outside the main power plant within four minutes. That's easily one of the most difficult things about this level, and boy has it given me some trouble in the past. Let's hope I don't have to play this level again for another quick montage, because that'll make me sad. Real sad. Actually, sad and angry, so more like sangry. It's an emotion I made up, to summarize how I feel half the time. Uh, here's also Emblem Collector, um, you know, par for the course for every level. However, this one's collect 40 spider emblems. Most of them are 30. Uh, so, you know, as I mentioned, you have to get more than usual. And since you do, let's pick up the remaining ones in this room before heading on. There's a couple. I think there's like five or so, but I've picked up a couple already. Uh, let's see, one across the room. Since they're sort of just like hanging out between the generators, sometimes you can pick them up absentmindedly during the fight and not realize it. Uh, I don't know, I think I have all of them at this point. Not seeing anything with my spider sense. Although I see a blue man with no pants on. So, you know. Typical Thursday fair. Ah, here's, here's the situation where we encounter our first red electric creature ambush. The one that we're supposed to defeat in a minute or less. Pretty much the strategy here is keep pressing the light punch button. Because if you just keep doing that, you're going to take them out in like 15 seconds like I just did. Oh, and we've unlocked some new upgrades. Yeah, and that's actually a good time to take a look at this stuff. So we have some uh, rage meter upgrades that we can apply. And considering that we are currently Ultimate Spider-Man and that we will soon have use for rage mode, why don't we buy both of these? It's about 10,000 points. Uh, for anyone paying close attention, you'll notice that I have a large reserve, and that's because when I had to replay the Hobgoblin level, I got a whole bunch of points! So, I guess we get to benefit from my mistake, in that we get to buy more cool stuff. Um, got a health upgrade that we can buy, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's, let's do that. And, uh, some other ones are a little expensive. I'll probably want them eventually. Uh, for now, let's just get health regen, because you don't actually have a lot of situations in this level where you need rage mode. So I'm not going to go all in on it for now. I've already got two upgrades for it, and that seems good enough for me. Uh, yeah, that doesn't show us any more challenges, so let's just move on with the level. Why am I wasting my time with you? I'm taking off! Nope. Yeah, you do have to be careful of these. The... the most of these hallways have these, like, circuit boxes that, like, spark blue electricity randomly. They have kind of a weird hitbox, so there are times when I, I think I'm pretty free and clear, and, uh, and yet I will still totally get shocked by something. So, more electric creatures, and now I have to jump out of the way, because there's a truck. Holy truck. That's right, I said truck. I didn't swear, it's fine. You know what I love? Back. Electric Creatures... Electric Creatures 2. Electric Creatures Boogaloo. Nice warm up, guys. Thanks. So, here's that uh, green laser enemy I was talking about before. And you can trick them into hitting their friends pretty easily. If you do that ten times, then you've completed yourself a challenge, my friend. Whoa. Another truck. Several of them out here, and a couple more show up later in the level as well. For some reason, I thought I missed a spider emblem, but I clearly didn't. You know what I love? More red guys. More red guys. More truck. There we go. Elect truck completed. I did not get killed by any of those trucks. So I get more points, and I still don't see any new challenges on the way. So, let's do some lasering. It's not actually that hard to get this challenge. For some reason, the first time I played this level, it felt a lot harder than this. Than it really is, is what I mean by this. 
Ah, uh, so here's my least favorite electric enemy by a wide margin. Oh, hello. Uh, the purple ones, they're, they're your heavy enemy for the level. They're the ones who can block your attacks and you'll need to do the, uh, I think it's called the air launcher, the one that breaks defenses. Um, but they also have a challenge. Do we actually see that one yet? I don't think we do. Um, but they have this special attack where they, ch like, they, they charge up a bunch of electric energy, and you have to try and interrupt them. Here it is. Oh, fudge. It's a real pain to try and do this, right? Because, like, what you have to do, you have to throw an object at them to, to disrupt them. Otherwise, you just get electrocuted yourself, and that's no good. Um, there are other uh, purple enemies throughout the level, but again, I advise trying to take care of it now when there aren't... I, most of the other ones are in groups or time sections or both. <laughs> Alright, I was thinking to myself, why isn't it counting the fact that I just did that? But I don't think it will tell you that you're making any progress towards the challenge unless you've unlocked the ability to see it. So I think I have two of the three times I need to do it. But as I was saying, even though it seems a little silly to waste time, like, hanging out here... Yeah, there we go. Short circuit. Good. I'm glad I got that relatively quickly. And we've unlocked some new challenges. Hold on is a section with workers later on, so pretty much protect the workers and don't lose the game. And here's our spider collector for the level, which again, we won't address now, but I will take care of at some point. Oh. Oh. But the, the purple guys show up in, like, really annoying places in the level, and they, they take a real beating, and their ability to charge up electricity and block, like, it all just combines to make them a nuisance to fight. And you have to, like, if you want to get that challenge... Ugh, see, that one wasn't even sparking when I walked up to it. That's cool. I'm done with you. Ah, here's an important section. You know I love. And it's our second appearance of Purple Guys. Get off me, you little freak! Hey, you're making him angry. I knew this you wouldn't happen. like him when he's angry. I gotta get it off me before I... So, welcome to Rage Mode. Again, this is one of the defining features of Ultimate Spider-Man levels. Um, it's sort of a Berserker mode. It makes all of your attacks more powerful. And, um... Yeah, it's, it's just pretty good for killing large groups of guys. But, uh, yeah, you, you get swarmed pretty easily if you try and take care of the, uh, short circuit challenge there. So again, I, I really just advise taking care of it at that first opportunity. Yeah, the red guys are pretty easy to kill. Alright, here's a section of the level that sometimes gives me trouble. The reason being, the only way across this section is on these, oh my god. Okay, it's gonna be a crappy day. Not that it would stop me the only it. way across this section of the level is on these narrow wires. Um, they're a real pain in the butt to jump between. They also have a bunch of spider emblems on them that I want. I always want them. But even when I'm not doing as badly as I am now, like he, he's like doing these like charge attacks between between the the wires and. The correct way to sort of traverse between them is to use your, like, zip jump thing. Right trigger, zip, zippity doo -dah. But for some reason, it's particularly, like, finicky here. And, like, it doesn't always want to, like, latch onto the other wires, so you're like, Oh no, I'm going to get hit by lasers, it will be bad. Hey, can I have them take this guy out? I've never tried this. It's a waste of my time, but I'm doing it anyway. See, he's got a lot of health. Look at all the damage he's taking. I should actually play this game a little bit. It was fun, but it's taking longer than I would like for it to be worth my time. Uh, zip of, zip of this guy. Zip of that guy. Should leave me with just a mostly killed purple guy. Kick. Punch, 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 punch. Ah, he's floating in midair. And now he died. That was a fun way to dispatch that guy. 
Uh, hidden spider right here. For anyone paying attention, trying to play along. But uh, again, I'm not going out of my way to find the hidden spider, so I've probably <laughs> missed one already because I don't know where all eight are for this level. No surprise to anyone. Here's some red guys. You just punch them. It's pretty straightforward. You know what? Forget this. Kill those guys. Oh yeah. So for anyone who thinks that Electro sounds familiar and can't quite place it, I'll tell you why he's familiar. It's because he's uh, he's in one of the greatest movies of all time. Back to the Future. It's Thomas F. Wilson, the guy who played Biff, which is awesome. I'm very excited by the fact that this is not only a Spider-Man game, but a Spider-Man game with Biff in it. His field is down. Attack! So, th this is another section where you sort of see what I was talking about earlier, where Electro has a tendency not to understand his own limits. So, like, more often than most enemies, he just, like, lets himself get in a weak position where he can get wailed on. It's kind of interesting that he's he stands out among the other enemies as having that, that trait. Because it sort of gives him character. I, I like that element. I like that he feels different than other villains just by something that he does in the fights with him. Oh. Places I shouldn't be, right there. Oh, gonna miss this one. Oh, I'll throw a barrel at him. Ha <laughs> Losing energy. Hard combo. Urgh. Ah, okay, so here's another chance for some zip guys. Assuming that you haven't miraculously done 20 already, which I think is impossible at this point in the level. Yeah, the auto-targeting for... for rapid zips is... it's really terrible. The whole... the control for zips in general... Or zip kicks or zip jumps... I, I forget the name for just the regular... zip... go someplace maneuver. But... Like, just generally throughout the game, it because it, it they both fun that and swinging, both function off the, the right trigger, at least in the Xbox version, which I'm playing. Um, and the game constantly gets the two of them confused, for one, which is really frustrating at certain points when, like, you're, you're trying to, like, zip-kick an enemy so that they don't attack you. Oh, did not mean to let that guy get lasered, but okay. Come on, ser like, I'm looking straight at an enemy, and I'm doing a zip kick that would, like, immediately dispatch him, and for some reason the game's like, oh, so you wanted to go, like, just way over here for no reason, right? Totally. Totally what I wanted to do. Thank you, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. And thank you, my own stupid brain, for walking directly into an electrified force field. Alright, so, yeah, pretty much the, the goal here is just, like, avoid him as he, like, sends electricity along the metallic sections of the ground here. Wait for him to say something like, I need a second, and sort of like pant there. Because of his lack of pants, I guess. Oh, that hurt a little. Oh, that, that hurt. Wheel on Electro. I need to recharge. You know what I find helps? Rest and relaxation. Turn the TV off, just have a little me time. But that's probably not what you're So, shockproof. I think that's just... Defeating second Electro? Yes, it is. Uh, so I think there's one challenge we haven't seen yet. Raging Storm? Oh yeah, land five con or 25 consecutive hits on electric creatures in a single rage mode. That's another fairly challenging one, but uh, hopefully we'll get there. So, let's take a brief moment to collect some spider emblems. There's uh, four, one in each corner of this, like, scaffolding in this boss area. And, uh, and then there's a nice shiny gold one there. And some red guys to punch. I hope you like punching. This game has a lot of punching to it, believe it or not. It's weird. Usually there's a zip point there I can access. 
Alright, so here we are in the uh, time section where I'm meant to defeat all of the uh, electric creatures outside the main power plant in uh, four minutes or less. This is easily one of the most challenging parts of this level. It's it's fairly difficult. Did I do that? It took me multiple tries to get it done for the first time. So here we have another one of these you know what? Forget sections. This. And uh, we also have three hidden spider emblems up here on this crane or whatever this is. I like to try and get those quick uh, so I can focus on zip kicks and whatnot. You know what I love? See, like, I didn't want to swing there. Why would I want to swing there? Again, I'm, like, looking straight at an enemy on a perch point. Why... why would I do that? Alright, so kick that guy. Great. Great. Awesome. Totally what I wanted to do was to be standing on that railing and, like, waste half of my rage meter charge. Definitely, definitely the plan. Well, that was disappointing and very frustrating. But, uh, you know, that's not really anything new. I think disappointing and frustrating are two words that describe me fairly accurately. As a person. And probably as a Let's Player. Go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And apparently I've already picked up uh, 40 Spider Emblems. And unlocked some combat upgrades. Let's take a look at these, because these might make my life a little easier. So we're all the way down to this. And I like more combos, as we determined in 2099 when I unlocked the triple Y combo. Which I've forgotten the name of, because it's pretty much Spider X. So let's buy this one. And, uh, Grab Swirl is like, if you press B while already grabbing an enemy, you spin them around and fling them. It's supposed to be able to, like, uh hit other enemies around, like you, you swing them around like a, a bat or a weapon of some kind, it doesn't work all that well from my experience. Web Slam is a hilarious maneuver where you can grab someone uh, in the air from the ground. You're on the ground and you keep just smashing them into the ground. It looks really funny, but it's not terribly practical. Um, okay, here's another combo that I could buy. And I guess I will buy it. Spider Fang, so... Y, Y, X, Y. imagine there aren't a ton of places where I'll get to yeah, use that combo, it. but it should do a ton of damage when I get it... when I fire it off. <laughs> did I already miss the trucks? Yeah, I did. It's weird. They're, okay, usually when you come up this ramp, there's two trucks that will, like, race down and try to crash into you. And that triggers, um, Ultimate Spider-Man's rant about calling Electro... Electruck oh. and whatnot. Oh. Get rid of these laser guys, because they're going to make fighting these purple ones a real pain. God, the zip, zip AI is freaking terrible. Alright, so I've got another challenge down. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, please? I hate fighting two of these guys at once as well. It's really annoying. Hey. Why, why, damn. Why, why, X. Just let me do my combo, you son of a crap. Why? 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 Oh my god. Get a hobby. Freaking purple nightmares. Okay. Dead. Oh no, I didn't get the freaking rage mode thing. It's so annoying. Ugh. I really like this level, but what I don't like is that they pile up too many challenges in this one area. This, this outside the power plant, like, everything has to get done now, and it's very stressful. Whereas, like, this would be probably one of my favorite levels in the game if it wasn't for this single section. Like, look how hard I'm having to struggle just to get the four-minute time limit done. Hey, uh... Excellent. Whew. Now 
I know how Bruce Banner feels. Wait a minute, I thought I had Except to get all 50 creatures like in control. one rage mode. How have I missed that good. on like six playthroughs of this level? Well, there you go. You should not count on me to understand everything about this game. That is the moral of today's episode. And speaking of today's episode, I think we're just about at a point to call it an episode. If I could get on top of this box to pick up this single spider emblem. Uh, I think I've picked up most of the ones in this area. There's some enemies here. For some reason. But yeah, as, as, as much as I do know about this level, and as, as many times as I've played Sorry. through every level Not except really the uh, Craven Jungle level, I, uh, I've i never read through a strategy guide or like a walkthrough to tell me all of the details about the game, so there are definitely things that I have, that I have missed. But I think, since there are so many enemies here, I've probably screwed up the four minute time limit one. Uh... Yep, I have, I have ruined Blackout. It's easily the hardest challenge in this level. So, that sucks. Guess I'm gonna have to do another montage! Um... You know, I'm not sure if I'll put that in now or at the end of the level. I'll mention now in an annotation whatever I've decided, and um, I will show you how to do that. Hopefully with some commentary resembling a strategy to, uh, I don't know, to, to, to make it more palatable. Because, like I said, it's really the hardest part of this level, and there's, there's a, in a, a tremendous number of enemies here. It's not just like... Like, four minutes is a lot of time. Especially in a video game. Everything in a video game is generally fast-paced, but, like, there is so much going on in this courtyard. It's incredibly frustrating and difficult to try and do all of those things at once. As I've already mentioned. Anyway, um, let's call this one an episode. Join me back here. Uh, we may make it through the boss next time. There's not a ton of the level remaining, but we'll see what happens. We'll play it by ear. And at some point, you will get a montage of that thing. It'll be great. I promise you'll love it. So subscribe, comment. Um, I hope you're enjoying the show and you keep watching. Uh, more Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions on the way.